Engineer775 wanting to follow up to my last video and give you, I know it's subjective, so I know I'm going to hear about it, and I hope I don't have to disable the con comments on this video, but uh, the, uh, I'm going to give you the three answers. Um, the third answer, the wood gas composition, will be in the description, and of course, most everybody knew Baxter the dog, and uh, the first question was, what is the most overlooked prep? And again, I said, I'm picking it, and I believe it's, in my opinion, a ways to make hot water, which a lot of people mention sanitation. You know, yes, there's mindset, there's firefighting, there's, oh my goodness, it's, you know, every, we could argue this forever, but it's my contest, so I picked hot water. And the reason I did, I've seen a lot of people that have no plan to stay clean in a grid down situation. And uh, within days, morale's gonna hit the toilet, so to speak, because people are dirty, they're doing things, working like they've never worked before, and they have no way to keep themselves clean. Uh, saw this in Katrina, seen it in other places, and it just, um, it's, it's, it's what I see people have, they haven't even thought of ways to heat water. And it can be as primitive as a black bag out in the sun, or solar thermal water heating. I'm just putting it at my geyser right now. This geyser is making hot water and it's heating this tank and it just shut off because I set the thermostat to hopefully turn off during this video. So it was supposed to do that. When the temperature of the tank came up to the right probe temperature, the geyser would shut off. This is just a cool gizmo that gives you the side benefit of air conditioning in the space in which it's placed. The answers will be in the description. And I'm still going through and making sure I'm fair and picking who is going to win the prizes. So I really appreciate everybody's comments. And um, so we'll be uh, shipping out the prizes here um, tomorrow. And so I appreciate you taking time to check it out. Thank, thank you for those of you that have ordered the book. And if you feel led, I appreciate a review. It can be on anything, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, you name it. Just uh, appreciate a, a review of the book. Uh, of course, I'd like a nice review, but, you know, I'll take an honest review over anything. Okay, um, again, hot water. This is off of rainwater. This is hot rainwater using a pretty, I don't know, I would say a more sophisticated way of making hot water off-grid is using the Nile geyser. And uh, so there's a lot of ways to do this, but uh, hopefully you have a solution in place where you can make enough hot water to take care of your family or take care of a, a lot of people in a grid down situation um, because those folks uh, pulling security, working in the garden, taking care of doing things that they are not used to doing um, are going to be very, very dirty. They need clean clothes, they need a hot pressurized shower. And so that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. So anyway, take care. See you the next time.